Hi guys in YouTube land. Well, it is February and so you know what that meant for me and my doll collection. That, that well, <laughs> that means uh, present tense that I had to change my doll pronto. And when I say my doll, um, you can see that I've changed more than just one doll over into a Valentine's Day outfit uh, for the holiday that's coming up. But um, I really wanted to change Ali Tiana because it was already February. I was late getting her in the snowman outfit. I had like a little snowman um, uh, overall set with this pretty little headband with the sparkles and the green turtleneck. And of course you can see over there some of the clothes that I washed um, that I got on sale on clearance. And you can see the rest of my little dolls over there. But uh, this video is all about my Ashton Drake Alicia doll um, who I shortened to Allie and her middle name is Tiana. So Again, she looks like a Tiana, but I'm not going to dwell on that because I call her Ali Tiana. So let me just kind of tell you guys about the outfit. And I also have this little knickknack around her wrist because I realize that babies always like something in their hands. They always like something to play with. And I felt that since she was as close to... A real baby as possible as you can get to a doll. I mean, she's a doll, but she just looks so real. She's my most realistic looking doll, which is why um, I wanted to make sure that since I was joining the Reborn community, I wanted to pick out a doll that I um, could call my own and a doll that I knew I could return back to the doll manufacturer if I didn't bond with her or care for her too much. I know sometimes with the Reborn community, um, sometimes there's a lot of scams out there and a lot of the artists are not as well known as some of the bigger companies like Ashton Drake. So um, since she is an Ashton Drake doll and since Ashton Drake is such a popular company, I felt safe. So um, getting back to her little knickknack, I have this in her hands and this has pink stripes, but it's coming off as gray. And this was the only like pink thing I had for her to play with um, or the only thing that had pink in it, but I'll kind of remove it so you guys can see her outfit. This little, I wouldn't call it a romper. What is this? This is um, a corduroy jumper and this red corduroy jumper I got from Kite. Kite makes it and um, it's really pretty. It's got these little embroidered diamonds on the pockets and these are working pockets. Um, it's a little bit big on her. Um, as you can see it kind of buckles right here and I also have this shirt from Carter's and it is a shirt. It's not a it's not um, a onesie and I wanted to make sure it was a shirt but it has this little bow and rick rack around the neck so I wanted to show that off I didn't really want this covering it and um, she's got the bow in her hair that matches her socks and these socks are so adorable I always love the ones that you get that looks like the baby's wearing Mary Jane's or some kind of shoe but a lot of times babies end up spending a lot of times in a lot of time indoors um, my baby was a fall like a late fall no an early fall baby um, my youngest and so he spent a lot of times a lot of time indoors when he was uh, around three to six months just because it was so cold it was like winter time uh, by the time he was wearing three to six months. So that's kind of the case with Ali Tiana. She wears about three to six months. And I really like the buttons too. They're like wooden buttons. So it's really nice. Um, and it's crisscross in the back. 
and I like the details on the hand and I still haven't activated her. Remember that you can put your hand in her hand or put your finger in her hand and she can squeeze. So um, she is activated by touch, but I haven't put batteries in her yet. So um, she is just looking very cute for Valentine's Day. Um, again, I just want to focus on her face and all the lovely details on her curls and her eyes and um, her mouth. I just love the coloring on her. And again, the whole point of calling these dolls reborn dolls is because you want to really have them look as realistic as possible when it comes to um, how babies look. You really don't want a doll that doesn't look like a real baby. <laughs> And because she's activated by touch, I think this is probably the closest doll I'll, I'll get to a baby. This is as close as I'll get to a baby doll that looks real. And you can see her meat socks in the back. So I'll probably put her meat socks back in her box along with her meat outfit and just continue to dress her for the holidays. So um, that's what she's wearing. I think she looks adorable. Again, this is three to six months, but it's by Kite. And I noticed that when I buy doll, not doll items, why am I calling it a doll item? Maybe because I'm putting it on a doll. But um, when I buy baby clothes from like little boutiques, I notice that they run big and uh, versus Carter's and some of the well-known brands. So um, that was something that I just kind of took a risk on. It was on sale and it was after Christmas, so I'm assuming that this was like promoted as like a Christmas um, jumper. But I think red and white can go with Valentine's Day. Uh, this is the Biddy Baby, and she's in her Valentine's Day outfit. Um, she's not in her whole outfit, so I have to finish dressing her. And I'll give Ali Tiana back her little play item. But these are a few books that I thought you guys might like. Um, these are books that I used with my youngest child when he was about three to six months. And I think it's really cute because um, you can, the same way that you can display little toys with the Reborns, my son always had a book in his hand. <laughs> he was either like chewing on it because they're board books so they don't get messed up uh, as easily as a real book but my son was always playing with his book and I also got this book for my son too because uh, this book can act as a rattle but it's also good for counting so I was trying to teach him how to count pretty early and um, I just thought it was really cool because it has a um, abacus and see on the back it says that you know you can use it for um, little infants so I thought that would be good for Ali Tiana as well to have as one of the books that she has in her library same thing with Eric Carl I love the pictures and um, I love how vibrant everything is for Eric Carl's books <laughs> So cute. An elephant. Oh, look at that. And the whale. And some of these books are like really interactive. Like I think one of the pages is like a pop-up page. But I like the little uh, lighthouse there. Isn't that cute? He's too young to really know what a lighthouse is. But I like the fact that these books expose him to that. Uh, this was a nursery rhyme book that had a CD, so the CD was here, but we used it. And I love all the pictures. Um, they're really fun, and if you look close enough, they have texture. So um, I think one was the Queen of Hearts. So this one I'm probably going to put on display for Valentine's Day for her. Like I'm probably going to sit some of my dolls in the corner and just have this book open to this page uh, on display. This is for uh, Black History Month, which is this month. So uh, this is probably going to be good with my space theme. But I love this book because 
my youngest got to see that um, his mommy is this color, a pretty color brown. And, um, you know, you can have diversity in the world. You don't have to be limited to just singing and dancing. You can be an astronaut. You can be a mathematician. You can be um, a poet. You can be, you know, anything that you want to be. Um, but again, it starts with having role models. And if you don't see yourself in books, if you don't see yourself on television as an anchor person, or if you don't see uh, someone who looks like you as a scientist or as a uh, film, uh, I guess, uh, a film major, <laughs> Um, then you're probably not going to see yourself wanting to do those kinds of jobs. So I like the fact that he can see that um, people like me or him can do whatever we want to do. And this is another book. This was the earliest book that I picked up for him, The Peekaboo Faces. I bought this when he was like three months. And as you can see, this was a well-loved book. My husband has taped this together countless times because he has ripped the flap of it so many times. Um, so that's how much we've used that book. And this one is my favorite. This was uh, a Mother Goose book. And look at this. This is like art. This is like going into an art museum. <laughs> it's like art in a book. And I just like the little nursery rhymes. I like the variety of nursery rhymes that you get. Um, I never... I never knew all of this is the house that Jack built and I think another nursery rhyme that I never knew the words to was hush little baby and it's actually a lullaby but for whatever reason my parents never sang that to me so I made sure that I was going to sing it and play it for my family because I always thought it was such a precious little song that I wanted to know all the, the lyrics. Um, so this little book has everything and look at the cute little townhouses. So um, I think as far as graphics are concerned, you can't go wrong with this book. So anyway, um, that's kind of what I have for my reborn for the month of February. So that's what she'll be in. And um, this was just a little bit of the book collection. All right, talk to you later.